Welcome to Good Hacker Lead Code Tutorial. Here we are going to solve Lead Code 102 binary tree level order traversal. So given a binary tree, return the level order traversal of its load value. So level order traversal, the direction is from left to right, level by level. So for example, given a binary tree 3, 9, 20, 15, 7, return its level order traversal as this structure. So array of arrays. So like for each level, the nodes would be storing into one separate array. And then each level array, they will be storing into this one big array as a result. So array of array. So binary tree level order traversal is a popular coding problem about binary tree. So here, let's take a look at how to solve it. So we have this example binary tree, 3, 9, 20, 15, 7. And uh, our final output for the level order traversal would be look like this structure, array of arrays. So like each level, the nodes will be storing into one array. And then each level array, they will be storing together into this one big array. So doing the level order traversal on a binary tree actually is conducting a BFS on a binary tree. So please first search. So level by level from left to right. So in order to get this output, the array of arrays, so we can introduce some variables. So first, that's a result. So result is a array structure so there's a big array that's a result and then we see like a, inside this big array there are a level array so the level so level would be also array and storing the each level the nodes and then in order to do the braids first search we can introduce an additional data structure called a cube. Cube, if we try to visualize a cube, would be like this. Uh, you can imagine there's a tube. There's a tube, and the cube support like a two basic um, operation. That is a, one is a called a cube.offer. So cube.offer is to add an element into the queue and queue.pull is to pulling out remove the first element in the queue so queue is a first in first out data structure so whenever we are adding elements into the queue so if we try to remove the elements from the queue the first element we inserted into this queue will be first removed out of the queue so that's a first in, first out data structure. So once we have this queue, we can easily conduct in the BFS on a binary tree. So for this example, let's take a look at if we have this queue, what, how we can do this. So we have a queue and uh, we can first add our root load, root load into the queue. So root load, that's a three. So we are going to add a three into the queue. So queue.offer, add the, this load into the queue. And then we, uh, if this queue is not empty, we take the element out. So take the element out, and uh, we are going to check what is a left uh, child and it's a right child. So we first um, remove this node out and also save this node into the level. So we know that first level is done. So that's a three and three. So we take this out and we check what's the left child, right child of this node. And we add them into the queue. So next level nodes will be adding to the queue adding to the queue.
So after offering these two nodes in the queue, we are continue to pulling pulling this out. For the line is just uh, itself, just uh, itself. So we add uh, another level. So line first add it to the next level. And then we are going to remove the 20 out. So q.pull remove the first element in the queue. At that time, it's just a 20. So 20 we take this out and add to the level. Add to the level. And we see 20 also still have some children. So that's a 15 and a 7. So we are going to queue the offer the next level node into the queue. So 15 and 7. So here Q still have elements. So Q have elements. So we take the 15 out. So 15 out of this Q. Out of this Q and uh, adding to a next uh, another level array. So that's 15. So 15 doesn't have a children. So we can move to the next Q element. So remove the seven out. So remove the seven out. So seven. So seven also doesn't have a children. So put the seven into the level array. And because seven doesn't have any children, so now our queue is empty. So queue is empty. We know that we have um, conducting the bridge first search on this binary tree. So we can stop it. And we are going to put all the level array into this final result array. So that's 3, 9, 20, and uh, 15, 7. They are all be stored into this uh, result array. So that's it. So we conducting the level order traversal and we also can get the final result as this structure, array of arrays. And each level, the load storing into each separate array. So that is satisfy our goal. So here, let's go come back to the coding. It's uh, using Java to solve this coding problem. So at the beginning, we can have this um, list of least integer as a, as a result. So we can store this one, declare our result. So if a root is a, just an empty tree, so in that case, we can directly return this empty result. result. And uh, then, so if the root is not empty, so we can first create this queue structure. So queue, queue, that's a queue load. In Java, queue is an interface. So here we can implement using linked List. So Q offer this root node first. And um, while the Q is not empty, so Q still have element. Out of here, we add the first element into this Q. While Q is not empty, so we are going to get the size. So what's the current level size? So Q, so we are adding the nodes into the Q, level by level. So we are going to get the level size. So what's this level size? So that's a Q dot size, Q dot size. And then 
network sites and uh, we are going to have a um, level uh, level array so that's a level integer called level that's also initialized by a array list and then for each load of this level so that's a for loop i start from zero i is smaller than the level size i plus plus so level and uh, so we are going to pulling out the q dot pulling out the each load in this level so tree node of a node q dot pull and we are going to add it also to this level so level dot add is a node uh, so pay attention here is adding the value of this node so to to the level to the level and if this node left so it has a left child it has a left child so we are going to queue the offer so for the next level so we are going to add the node left to the queue it's not um, now if node dot right not now so also q will offer the node dot right and once the level finish we are going to add this level to the result so result dot add level and once the queue is empty, we are finish our level order travel. So, so we can return our final result. So let's uh, quickly check if there are some typo or any issue. So we initialize this result as a final result structure for this uh, this problem. So if the root is null we are going to return this empty array list and then we initialize a queue structure so link the list queue first offer this root node into the queue so while the queue is not empty so we get we are going to do the level order so level order travel so so this current level size current level size and the current level array list so we iterate each load of this current level current level and we are going to add the value of the each load into the level array list and if this uh, load has a left child or right child we are going to offer into the queue so next level Q will have those nodes and uh, after this finish we are going to add a result uh, add the level so this level result all the this level with the current level nodes value into the result once a Q is empty we finish our level order travel so we return result okay let's click submit Okay, accept it. So we successfully solve this binary tree level order travel so coding problem. As you can see that this binary tree level order travel so because it's a checking a very um, basic concept about Brits first search. So it's a very popular coding problem like being asked uh, by many companies. So 
uh, just be practice, be familiar with the naval order travel. So on a binary tree, you will be more confident. So that's all about today's coding problem. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscription. See you next time.